to do is you want to take the leading coefficient times the constant. So you say to yourself, what two numbers multiply to 4? So I'll just make a little chart here. So what two numbers multiply to 4, but at the same time, those same two numbers have to add to the mill coefficient, 5. Okay, so are you with me so far? So what do you think those two numbers are then? Multiply to 4, but add to 5. Okay, so if you said 4 and 1, you're, you're absolutely right because 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 times 1 is 4, and then what we're going to do is we're going to split this middle term, okay? So instead of 5x, we're going to split it up into 4x plus 1x. Now where did I get the 4x and 1x from? That's from these two numbers here. Then you just bring down the 2, okay, that last term, and you bring down the 2x squared, that's the first term. Okay, so now what you notice is we have four terms. When you have four terms like this, what you can do is you can try and do the factoring by grouping method. What you do is you put parentheses around the first two terms and you put parentheses around the last two terms. Then all you have to do is factor out the greatest common factor out of each group. So I'm going to factor out 2x here, so that's going to leave us with x plus 2. And I really can't factor anything out of here except for a 1, and that also leaves us with x plus 2. So see how we have an x plus 2 in common in this group as well as this group? So what you can do is you can factor out x plus 2, again, as if it was a greatest common factor, okay? And what you're left with is 2x plus 1. 